with a production run that started back in late 2004 for the 2005 model year, the current Nissan Frontier pickup is a living automotive fossil from a time before iPhones and when new Oldsmobiles were new mobiles on dealer lots. Forget about Game of Thrones we were still wondering what would become of Tony Soprano when this second generation rig hit the streets. And yet Nissan's mid-sized Dino truck has persisted as a rudimentary tool of practicality. The last time we tested a Frontier was for a five-truck comparison test in 2005, in which the Nissan finished second to the then-revolutionary first-generation Honda Ridgeline. Despite the Frontier's minimal update for 2009, a big, torquey 4.0-liter V6, 261 horsepower, 281 lbft, is still found under the hood of most models, including our Crew Cab Pro 4X test truck. Only some smaller King Cab variants with rear hinged half doors can be had with the 152 HP 2.5 liter inline 4. A standard 6 speed manual or, as in this example, a $1050 automatic transmission with just 5 forward gears handles shifting duties on V6 versions. Unlike newer mid sized trucks, there is no full time all wheel drive setting for the Pro 4XS low range 4 wheel drive transfer case. And the Frontier's power steering is still boosted by old Timmy hydraulic assistance, which lends the wheel a firm, linear action, if not much feel. There is nary a surface inside the Nissan's hard plastic cabin that we would consider soft to the touch, and its headliner is made of coarse, rat fur-like material. An Apple Watch looks like a 4K TV next to the simple digital readout in our truck's analog instrument cluster. And despite features such as navigation, mobile apps, and Bluetooth streaming through our example's modest 5.8-inch central touchscreen, a 5.0-inch setup is standard, the interface appears dated and chintzy next to more modern systems.